Welcome to one of the most rockin' mansions to ever hit the market in the Hollywood Hills. You're in God mode when you're in this property. Built on spec and nicknamed the Stanley House, this $38 million mega mansion features interiors conceived by rock legend turned designer Lenny Kravitz. This is actually Lenny's $50,000 custom handmade couch. Kravitz Design, the musician's namesake firm, was hired to crank up the cool factor in co-developer Brandon Williams' latest mega home. Just about everything inside is included. I actually slept on this couch just to get some of his vibes. Lenny's personal touch can be found in every corner. Everybody's got to have a peacock. This is the gentleman's lounge, and I named this the cock room. This is a $1.4 million, 1,200 pound bronze art piece. And this is kind of the room you come to hang out, pour yourself a whiskey, scotch, and play a little chess. Just past the 2,000 bottle wine cellar is the home's mega lounge. We got the 200 inch video wall to watch games, watch movies, videos. We have the $450,000 cat speakers, and then we wanted to make furniture that you could also dance on. You could sit, you could lay, you could roll. You know, it's gotta be fun. It's gotta be sexy. Follow me into the master. I see the entire city, downtown all the way out to the ocean, and then you touch a button and you got the TV that comes down and you got one of the most badass sound systems ever. This is a sexy master bedroom. And I don't have to tell you too, when you own a sexy master bedroom, it helps. It helps with it just helps. Let's say your friend, your girlfriend, your wife is taking a bath. Oh, I need the swinging, hanging chair. And you just sit right down here. It takes a little bit of uh, concentration. You sit back and go, how was your day, babe? Oh, that's great, you know? And you look cool while you're doing it. And when bath time is over, there's another way to stay cool snap and you got instant misters. Look at that. You always got to be able to cool off outside. This is the state of the art $1.5 million door system that can fully convertibles and pockets into the house. Touch of a button, just perfect. If you live in the Hollywood Hills, you got to have the ultimate backyard. So if you're in a celebrity watching, you just come over here to the binoculars and you just peek a look and look at your neighbors right up here. Even the pool has speakers so you could listen to music inside the pool. You got the 12 person jacuzzi and then you got the 12,000 pound granite fire rock with the bubblers. So you could sit on this rock at night and still feel warm. You want to see something cool? You think that this is just a slate wall? No, it's not. It's a Batman garage. Hidden behind a 20,000 pound, $150,000 bifold door is a spot for your Batmobile or this Rolls Royce Corniche. 38 million bucks for rock star living that's Lenny approved. See that $30 million super yacht over there? I'm about to give you an exclusive VIP tour. Her name is Broadwater. Mega yacht broker Graham Sullivan knows every inch of this 165 foot ship because he's the guy that wealthy sea lovers call to charter her for the lofty price of $280,000 per week. This is exactly what it would be like if you spent more than a quarter mil to get on board. You'll be greeted by this first class crew of 12 to cater to your every need. That's one crew member for every one of your guests. At the touch of a button, boom, you're in the main salon. I can't tell you who the owner is, but I can reveal to you he made his money in finance and he's got expensive taste. He spent nearly $14 million just on these interiors. The walls are covered with over a million bucks worth of rare Asian wood called Paldeo. The steps are upholstered in Italian leather. When you're walking around here barefoot, it feels great on your feet. And the staircase is adorned in a bespoke art installation 
created with 1,200 laser-cut pieces of aluminum crafted to mimic ripples on the ocean. It flows over three levels and costs more than a Ferrari. Now we're going to one of my favorite rooms. It's the master suite. I wish this was Smell-O-Vision because these custom-built beds were fumed in eucalyptus. They're all covered in custom sheets costing more than $25,000. That's a Picasso on the wall. And you don't see this every day. It's a giant stainless steel plunge tub with a Japanese water spout. Just got an email from a client who wants to charter this yacht. Cha-ching! Some of the owner's friends are on board right now, and one of them's in the wellness center getting a massage. Hey, Tina, CNBC viewers want to know how this feels. Super rich. Beyond the Ford X and almost 700 tons of ship, there's a world of fun on the water. And while guests work up an appetite on the open sea, the private chef is whipping up a five-star meal in the kitchen. And on the top deck, it's always top shelf. And here's your gorgeous bartender, Nadine, shaking it up. By the way, Broadwater's 280K charter fee does not include food, wine, fuel, or the standard 20% tip for the crew. With all of that, you're closer to $400,000 per week. And if you've got that kind of cash to spend, I guarantee you she's worth every penny. I'm in from Dallas, and I brought an important pair of diamond earrings to deliver to a client. Jeweler Joe Pacetti, AKA Diamond Joe, is in New York City to deliver some hefty ear bling to a Park Avenue billionaire. They're about two and a half million dollars retail. Before he makes the big delivery, Joe makes a pit stop at the Baccarat Hotel. And when you see what's stashed in his Birkin bag, you'll understand why he travels with a bodyguard. Inside the Lux Hotel's super secure $20,000 per night VIP suite, the Iceman unveils his pricey stash, which he'll be showing to clients in the city, flanked by that guard who's packing heat. This is a bracelet made in the 1920s. These feature 18 karat each, yellow diamonds in the bottom. How about a 57 karat yellow diamond ring, Texas size as we say. Joe also brought an emerald ring worth over 1.2 mil and a 116 karat diamond necklace valued at more than 1.7 million. That's more than 10 million bucks in one bag. Not to mention the over the top ice he's wearing. I call that my everyday bracelet. It's made out of platinum, 66 carats of diamonds. It's totally flexible. Most expensive piece I have on is the chain. It's about a million eight. For me, it's a wearable form of art. But the most expensive wearable art in the suite is right here. This is the pair I'm delivering today. There's 14 matched, three carat each pear-shaped diamonds. And these are the only details he'll reveal about the lucky lady who ordered them. She's in her mid-60s, very low key. She'll see something and she'll say, oh, I think that's too Texas for me, it's too big. But she wants really fine things. Right now, pachetti has gotta get these fine things safely to her front door. Just up a couple of blocks, um, we're probably gonna have to separate ways. And for security reasons, this is the end of our ride. So we'll just have to assume that the earrings arrived safe and sound. <laughs>